Hashtag Summer Prompts 2023. All right, you guys. Summer's here. Summer's calling. And I am answering. Uh, this is the first of 14 uh, prompts that we're going to do this summer starting today, June 1st, all the way through August 31st. We're going to spend some time together. Let's make the best of it. I am super excited. Before we go any further, be sure to like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your mother and your father. If you don't talk to them, tell your best friend, whatever. This is an activity best done in community. Uh, so when you make something, be sure to tag us and share it with the community because summer is all about being out there with friends and um, maybe the world's ending, but not here, not in our bubble. So relax, uh, get comfortable because we got some stuff in store for you. Uh, you can go support this channel uh, by going to collagedream.com and pre-ordering your summer well book. These are really exciting, movable studios. Now, normally, we sell these summer prompts on collagedream.com for $5, um, but for some reason, this time around, we thought, you know what, let's make it free for all. So this is free for you to share, to give away. This is a form of currency, of creative currency, um, so enjoy and share. This is your value our value that we create together but if you do want to support the cold hard cash reality of bills and all that other fun stuff of buying material and books you can get yourself one of these these have been really fun to make this is from last year i don't even have one of the ones from summer they're coming up and they're so beautiful um so get with it and let's have some fun now the first prompt of the season is, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Hashtag sunrise, duh. Let's uh, invite the sun back into our lives and uh, have a good time. Now, I thought I'd do something kind of fun, right? Why not? I'm gonna try something different. I have two pieces of paper that were scraps from a bigger piece of paper, or maybe there were one, I don't know. The thing is, it is, uh, Gemini season, so maybe this subconsciously came through, right? Now, as always, the most exciting part of these prompts is what you bring to it, right? So, when I think of sunrise, Gemini came to mind, I don't know why, but also sunrise, I think of optimism, I think of the beach, I think of water, I think of new beginnings, uh, so whatever it might mean to you is valid and just go with it and if it doesn't mean anything to you now is a good time to set some um hardcore intentions about what it could mean in your life in your studio in your art practice and setting the tone for the summer season all right i don't want to ignore the elephant in the room look how beautiful i found this uh from an artist here in brooklyn her name is aura bear she is an Ethiopian ceramic artist. Her details in the description. Support your local artist. And you would think, well, where do I wear this? Wear it in your house while you're cleaning. That's what my collector once told me. So I don't clean, but I make art. So I will wear my jewelry while I make art. All right, I have two magazines along with my odd piece of paper. So let's get started. Hashtag sunrise. All right, so this is what I'm doing, you guys. I am just gonna dive in. Now, you know I like to live by the edge of my seat, and um, I don't like to plan. I knew the prompt was coming, but I didn't want to plan. The more, the farther I got was um, the idea of Gemini, because I'm a Gemini. So I'm just gonna start collecting images that call my name. Now, every episode is going to be slightly different. I'm going to bring you new things. I'm going to try to share some things that move me and inspire me. Uh, so it'll be lots of fun. Please do the same with your community. Inspire us. Let us know what's inspiring you. What's moving you. Um, I was just listening to some glorious stuff. <laughs> uh, you know, when I was a kid, I thought it was so cheesy. But now as I get older, I'm like, wow, she was such a trailblazer. So cool. Look at this. Okay, so I'm making two collages, right? Ugh, 
So right now, I'm not even thinking of anything. I'm just looking for things that inspire me. And uh, this can be as easy or as detailed as you want it to be. And right now, I'm not even thinking about the sun. I'm just thinking about what looks appetizing to me, right? That's a good place to start. I, that's why I love going to restaurants when they have pictures of, on the menu, you know? Like, I don't know what this means. But if I see a picture, I know I'll like it. Okay, talking about food. Bon appetit. Hmm. So, I had kangaroo er earlier this month. It was good. It was good. It tasted like lamb. Um, and they're kind of mean, so I guess you take on some of that energy. I don't know. It was an experience. Listen, I don't shy away from experience. I was vegan for about five years. And now that I'm not, I feel like I'm the complete opposite. I'll eat anything that moves. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding a little bit there, but not really. All right, so this is food. Food is triggering for me. Ooh. Mm, ice cream. I don't know what that is. Oof, you guys. Okay, so let me know what you're eating this summer. In your well book, you're invited to keep receipts. You're invited to keep memorable meals. This month, or this time around, um, I didn't ask you to do that. I actually gave you all of these prompts that we're doing all this summer in your well book. So you get to know before anybody else. Get that before it goes. We're only doing a few because it's a lot of work. Um, okay, this didn't give me much joy, you guys. I have one more magazine that I think will give me something. It's a Vanity Fair from God knows when. Ooh, it's the weekend. What's the weekend? Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Uh oh, the I started. Love faces. But I was hoping for. Oh, here we go. A little yellow. Just a little yellow. Oh, a little orange. Okay, let's get started. So, this is what I'm doing. I've never really done this, but I thought this would be a great time to play. Um, I'm going to do two collages at once and see what happens. So today, I'm going to play with my frenemy, Mr. Glue Stick. Now, I usually don't use glue stick because it puckers. Uh, but I have been so... Um, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I just want to play. So I'm not going to be so precious about having things flat. And I just want to see what happens. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two of these collages at the same time. And I'm going to evenly distribute what I find. Okay, so if I put one here, I'll put one here. How about that? Easy, right? Easy peasy. So stick around because in a minute, I'm going to share what one of our art star, art fam, uh, in our community did for hashtag sunrise. And I'm really excited to check it out. Okay. I should have probably checked it out before I started recording. <laughs> but I trust my artists. I know they always make something amazing. Um, here we go. So, right now, I'm just keeping it loose and see what happens. So, I used to hate summer, I'm not gonna lie. I love summer now. Ever since I went to Mexico during the pandemic, it just changed my life. I was like, oh, I meant to be in the sun, I meant to, I meant to shine, you know? Um, but I had this horrible body dysmorphia um, as a kid, because I was I was really I was a chunky kid, and uh, like like many of us, um, and people were just really mean. So my body issue I had body issues forever, and I mean I don't think you ever really outgrow stuff like that. So you mitigate, right? So little by little I've been uh, easing up on myself and really giving myself the opportunity to enjoy my body and to enjoy taking up space and all that fun stuff so I encourage you to do the same really because at the end of the day guess what guess what nobody cares nobody cares. and that was the most beautiful realization nobody cares like you're like oh, I'm gonna take off my shirt and blah 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 um, what are people gonna say then you realize people are just so into themselves by nature right uh, you should mind your own business um, that nobody gives, nobody cares. So 
I have to remember that. And it's a nice uh, thing to remember. Keep in mind, nobody cares about stuff like that. I was going to curse. Okay, so look at this. I'm just evenly distributing and see what happens. So these are like little siblings, right? They're little sisters, little brothers, little siblings that are going to have similar things but be completely different. I'm hoping is the plan. So I had this... It's in the shape of a what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Octagon, hexagon, bubagon. I don't know. You know what it is. Let me know in the comments. Um, and see what happens. Look, I like this geometry. Let's play with geometry. I have my little itty bitty scissors today. Let's play with this. So this is my sunrise. So now, as an older person, I, I'm really excited about enjoying summer. And uh, not giving space to my monsters, my demons, right? Uh, because uh, they don't serve a purpose anymore. As we say in French, je m'en fiche. I don't care. So let's see, I like this. I like this because it's a little gray, it's a little respite from all this color. It's fun because um, if you have siblings, you know, ah, more often than not, you have things in common. I have quite a few siblings. None of my siblings are full siblings. They're all have different parents than I do. I know my parents were scandalous. Um, no, they were real. So the thing is that. It's fun to see what traits came through, right? The other day I was talking to my sister and um, I was telling her about this thing that I started taking, this, this vitamin. And she's like, where did you hear about that? <laughs> and I was like, um, YouTube. And then she's like, oh my God, you are my mom. And she's, she's said stuff like that on many accounts and I never, I didn't grow up with my mother, I was never around her. so. That's a funny thing to me, and uh, but at the same time, it's very heartwarming, right? Because a lot of these things are, are passed down, right? Like, our propensities to do things. I remember my grandmother once gave me a, a book. She's like, here, this was your grandfather's. Do you want it? And I'm like, yeah, what is it? It was a Spanish-French dictionary. This man that I've heard so many horrible things about was into French. Not that that makes him a better person, but, you know, when you... I was born here, I was born in the US, so I had these this horrible preconceived notions of, of Mexicans, right? Of like, oh, we didn't have access to education, we didn't have access to dreams. Quite the opposite, this man was studying French. I mean, how exciting, can you imagine me in France? French Martin, mm, actually that would have been horrible, but at any rate, uh, I love the idea of the things that we passed down. Check this out. Are you getting a sunrise from this? It's coming. I promise you it's coming. And you know what I have, right? Which you should also keep. I have a CD player. I have a CD. I mean, I wish I had a CD player. Um, and look what I have. Yellow paper. I mean, it's a little on the nose, really, but let's see. All right, let me just do this and let me see where it takes me because I don't want to be two. If it's one thing I don't want to be is... Two on the nose. Although I will say simplicity is a virtue. But don't be basic. Is all I'm saying. Okay. Let's bring this back. Okay. Now we know I love a good tear, but Sunrise. Oh, no, no. I don't want to start singing, you guys. Please. Please. Don't encourage me. Yeah, okay. Something's happening. And you know what? I have more of these little holes. Punchers. Okay, so while I'm doing this, check out what Andres Champion in Austin, Texas did. A friend asked me to create something with a the theme, Sunrise. So immediately I thought of a wise old man draped in orange yellowy fabric rising from all the chaotic stuff around us 
you know, showing us all the beauty that's around us. Sometimes we, we tend to forget, but it's all around us, happiness, sunshine, and we can't forget about that. Oh my God, I love this man. I love my artist. All right, you guys, nurture your community. This is amazing. Follow, love, buy, um, get into Andres's work. I'm a huge fan. All right, let's see what I did. Nothing. Um, let's cut out some circles. Dun, 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 dun. All right, I think this is gonna be my sunrise situation. Did you see that? That just how he interpreted. Uh, he found wisdom in sunrise. Gosh, love that. Okay, this is where I'm gonna get cool. <laughs> what I meant to say is, this is where I'm gonna get going. Um, you know what? Let's let's play here. Hmm, I'm trying to look around, because I know what I want to do. Okay, don't move. I'll be back. Okay, so you know how I hate getting my hands dirty, but these are going to be really fun. Uh, actually, I used to have china markers, which are cleaner, but whatever. I just want a little black, you know? Don't you ever just want to, like, mess things up with a little black? Yes, I love it. Okay. Yes. Loving this. Okay. Yes. A piace. Okay, so this is going somewhere. And then you know what else I have? I have tons of stuff, you guys. And this is the thing. You have tons of stuff, too, all around you. Don't think you have to go shopping for new things. Um, because it's all around you. And one thing that I bought recently for the fair that I was part of is letters. I got all these letters. And actually, these are going to be in the well book, so watch out. Alright, I'm going to play with these. These are fantastic. Now, a big part of... Hmm. A big part of... Ooh, Summer. S. Yes of summer is music right like what are you listening to i'm gonna have a playlist coming out soon for uh the summer keep an eye out for that oh man i love this so cool okay love this so it's kind of starting to be like a yin and yang type situation here right which is cool i'm down with that a little bit more in the collage okay yes love it love it love it okay cool now what if i okay i'm gonna put down my sun that sounds funny i'm gonna put down the sun but before i do that i'm just gonna dive in i mean we said we're gonna try new things right so oh. can you feel it can you hear it love it Okay, here we go. Blue skies. Okay. Yes, that did something. I know it did. And it was worth it. It was worth it. Okay. Loving it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. We're doing this. We're doing this. I just wipe my fingers on my pants. That's okay. That's why we're denim, right? That's why that's why artists wear like silly smocks because you do get dirty and that's cool it's nice to forget um ooh, this isn't gonna stick anymore because of the oil duh okay so we learn as we go hmm but look what i have i have stickers you guys i have stickers now Something's happening. So I'm just going to use our friend here. And I think after this, we might be close to finishing, but I feel like it needs something else. Uh, when I was in art school, my teachers were all about abstract painting and like, you know, anti-figure, like you couldn't draw a face, a human body, because it was all about like ah, paint and like masculinity and blah, blah, blah. Um, masculinity is great, but it was like this toxic, like aggressiveness. So, 
I always feel like I need to put like a cat or something that's like not pretentiously cool. Um, so I don't know. Let's see what I can find here. Hmm. Ooh. I was drawn to this person's face, and I know she's probably really famous, and I don't know who this is. Um, but that's what happens when you don't watch TV. That's a lie. I do watch TV. I've been watching Miss Maisel. You know it. Can't get enough of this. It's over. And she made it. <gasps> got it. We got this, you guys. All right, let me know who this person is. You win five summer prompt points. Okay, so now this is really a diptych, right? Oh my goodness, yes, I love it. So, look at that. I too dived into this mysticism all of a sudden, and I wasn't planning to, but that's what happens, right? When you're kind of just genuinely involved in what you're doing, it kind of comes forward. Your nature takes over, and, uh, and that's good. Don't betray yourself by running away from your nature figure out how to better use it, right? Am I done? Oh my god, I love it. Okay, you know what's missing? Pink, right? There's a little bit of pink, but I can use a little more. Let me see. This is me doing like a final check, looking around my studio. Hmm. What else do we got? I don't want to do any more. Yes, this is part of one of my many boxes. Uh, I don't want to do... This is cool. I don't want to do any more circles because I'm a little circled out for this collage. I just love pattern. I love... I love love. I hate it when people say that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I hate nothing. dum ba dum bum bum You know what? Maybe. Nope, don't like it. I think it's done. Okay, so this is my sunrise collage. Let's look at it um, really quick and talk about it a little bit because once you have made your prompt, be sure to let it sit for a minute and give it some space to breathe, then you can come back to it and kind of look into it uh, with a fresh set of eyes and also maybe share it with somebody else, right? Um, so I love this because one, it is definitely not on the nose, right? So yes, I could have done a sun, which I kind of did. Yes, I could have done a picture of a sun, but try to go a little bit further, right? Challenge yourself. What does the sun mean to me? as a magical, mystical person that we are, that I am, I know the sun is power, the sun is energy, the sun is wisdom, the sun is magic, right? It's how we're alive. So there are these eyes that, that came up in the collage um, that are kind of movable, right? They're all seen, really. Uh, if I take one away, I feel like this is enough information to, to, to still see the world, right? And look how, actually, I really love them individually as I do together. What if I do this? Oh my God. All right, so play with them. I like this idea of making a diptych. I like this idea of doing two collages at one because guess what? Nobody needs to know that you're doing two and if one messes up, throw it away. Keep the nice one and then you win. Um, so I'm really in love with this hashtag sunrise. Uh, before I let you go, I'm going to invite you every prompt video to do a quick collage in your well book. Now, if you don't have a well book, what I basically want you to do is not be precious, not be precious. So I'm just going to take the scraps that are around my desk right now and make a collage. And I'm just going to open my book at random. <gasps> Joanne LaFrance. So one of the prompts in the well book uh, the first time around was to collect five autographs from people. And I was in Montreal, had the most amazing experience of meeting our art star, Joanne LaFrance, in the flesh. And, um, and I asked her to sign my book. So this is going to be what I'm going to collage in. So let's go. Also, by the way, if you're wondering, this is what I would look like if I was a cat. So 
if you're anything like me, as I get older, I care less and less. Like, I'm less precious. I'm less, like, I'm an artist. I, I've devoted my life to this. I don't have a pension. <laughs> I'm not gonna, you know, it, I'm not gonna worry about that now. Um, so, maybe they'll figure out a way that the AI can take care of humanity instead of scamminess. I don't know. The thing is, I am optimistic, and summer is a great time to lean into that, right? So worry not. This is where you leave it. I want your collages, I want your well book to be your ashtray, your pillow, your best friend. Um, leave it all here, you know? Don't carry all this frustration, all this weight. And I'm speaking to myself, really, because, I mean, I am i don't live in a bubble as much as I'd like to. Uh, I see what's going on in the world, but as a person, I can only do so much. I'll support you, and I'll support the people uh, who are making the world turn, as I am. But, um, but not one person carries the world on their back, right? So, please, 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 please make room to feed your soul. And, um, yeah, fun, God. We're here for such a short time. All right, so this is a little precious, a little unprecious, right? So let me let me let me really go to town here. Look at this beautiful purple washi tape. Now, if you stay prepared, you need to get prepared, right? Ooh. So just you know, be surrounded by things that inspire you. And if all you have is your kitchen table, then a notebook or this well book is a perfect place to start. And it has to make sense to no one but you, right? So in the well book, I'll just show you really quick, I include a envelope and there's some goodies in here. This time around, it's gonna be some more fun goodies. So um, stay tuned. All right, you guys, that was my quickie. Did you see it? Uh, it was just some things that were around that I didn't wanna throw away that needed a place to be. Ooh, I'm gonna put this artist's information because I want more jewelry. And please go check out their information and uh, get yourself some art all right this is luis martin the art engineer and um summer's calling hashtag sunrise cheers